this exhibition, which uh, has a very particular title, the best art I've seen today, which during our Basel, it's a big challenge, uh, has an artist represented, which is uh, A. Monet. Uh, her work is quite interesting in the way she presents a narrative, a narrative or, of her interior world. That world can be uh, followed in this small sequence, starting with the first work, which is uh, evolution. The first night that we were doing the installation work, it was very interesting to see how she's capable of building a whole narrative of different situations through her visual art. Her work, is expressed also in this catalog part of the exhibition uh, which is quite interesting how she shows and presents her internal vision of the world. Uh, many artists are more concerned of what happens outside than what happens inside. In the case of Monet uh, it's very interesting how she goes from evolution to uh, other works that relate to very personal experiences and in particular this one your mind is very interesting because it synthesizes a magnificent book about the role of the artist which is called the gift by lewis hyde an artwork once you like it is yours if you buy it or not that's another issue but once you like it you feel it's part of you so this iconic piece it's very interesting in that sense. The other important component in her exhibition is how colors shift, how form changes. And we start with a very intense dark colors, tight traces on the first artwork in evolution. And we end up with a total different proposal. This proposal, it's light colors, more space, uh, lighter uh, levels of expression, which I think that the interest part then about the work of Monet is her uh, transparent proposal through the canvas. Uh, she's basically exposing herself through her feelings, her way of looking at the world, and what she really believes about through art. And that's what contemporary art is about. I have some questions for artist A. Monet, uh, which are always intriguing to see when you look at the work of an artist. No matter if it's a well-known artist, an emerging artist, there's always things that you need to know when you look at the painting. And I would ask you, why do you paint? I paint as a way of expression um, so that the canvas can create a uh, words, actually, and emotions to provoke emotions in myself and others. Okay, that's, uh, I believe that's quite interesting because I think that uh, every visual artist is a creator of metaphors. And uh, I think very few are selected to have the capacity to create and the rest of us have the uh, fortune of looking at art. How would you define your art? It's abstract expression, and this particular series is parallel life, parallel universe, the shift, creating the perfect world. For whom do you paint? Well, I actually paint um, because obviously I enjoy it. However, I do uh, enjoy others enjoying my work, and that's one of the reasons why I've incorporated the fine art press books because I'm also a writer. So it's imperative that um, others can create their own perfect world and enjoy the writing um, with the art as well. I see that you're a, a person with a recognition uh, involved in different media. Uh, what percent do you devote to painting of your time? That's a great question. Um, this particular series started in January 2012, and um, actually it ended uh, at the end of November. So um, I actually spend 
an average uh, every day I'm, I'm actually painting or every other day um, to get these pieces in order for this particular exhibit. I didn't know that I would be here, but I knew that I was going to be in Miami um, by the end of the year because I love the booming market here and what you guys are doing. Well, I think that uh, the best art I've seen today is really uh, a space of surprises and uh, I think your artwork is a quite interesting, uh, motivating surprise. And I think that uh, your work synthesizes what uh, the famous uh, artist photographer Lewis Hines said when they asked him, why do you do your art? And he said, if I could put it in words, I wouldn't do it in this format. Well, thank you. Well, it's an honor again to be here with you and thank you so much for everything. Well, it's an honor to be with you. <laughs> Control.